Hey guys, welcome to the second part of my video. First of all, make sure that you have discharged yourself, otherwise you could destroy your computer parts. Take your new power supply and place it right there. Then fix it by using the screws that were delivered with your power supply. Now take your pen for your front panel and install it right here. Watch the blowing direction which is mentioned on the fan. Make sure one arrow shows to the inner side of your case because you want to use it for air intake. Now put your case to the side, unbox your mainboard and put it on your desk. Waste this little CPU lever and unbox your CPU. For the little triangle marking on your CPU and on your CPU socket on your mainboard. This marking will show you how to place your CPU right. Put this lever until it is locked. Now unbox your CPU cooler. Remove this little plastic right here. But don't touch this paste because the, this is heatsink paste, um, which is very important to cool your CPU. Install it like this and then connect this cable with this connector called CPU fan. Now you should install your memory module. Therefore you have to spread the retaining clips at both ends of the memory socket. Take your RAM and note the different size of the parts in your memory socket. Your RAM will only fit in it if you turn it right, so it is impossible to do it wrong. Push them down and if you did it right, the clips will snap into place when the RAM is securely inserted. Remove the original I.O. shield from the back panel of your case and replace it with your mainboard I.O. shield. It would look like this. There are some screws that look like this. These ones you have to screw into the white holes in your case. They have to match with the screw holes on your mainboard. After that it should look like this. Now lay the mounting screw holes on the mainboard with the corresponding mounting holes on the case. Now you have to secure your motherboard in place with screws. Make sure that you use these flat ones. After you have fixed it, you have to connect it with your power supply unit and then it should look like this. Now install your optical drive. This is very simple. Just put it in like this and then secure it with some screws. After that, connect it with your power supply and with your mainboard. For the connection to your power supply, use a cable that looks like this. And for the connection to your mainboard, just use the standard SATA cable that looks like this. Take your hard disk and connect it like your optical drive. Now you have to connect the cables of your start and reset switch, which are these ones. And optional, you have to connect the cables of your front panel audio, USB and so on. This depends on the case you have. Now connect your case fan with your mainboard. Just search for the mark connector called SysFan. Now install your second case fan on the back panel of your case and connect it to another connector called SysFan. Now it should look like this. Box your graphics card and put it into the graphic card slot. Right here. Before you put it in, remove the slot cover from the back of your case, right there. And then simply insert the graphics card into the slot. After that, secure it to the case back panel with a screw. Some graphics cards need an additional power connection. If your card does, connect it with your power supply. After that, it is time for a first run. For first one, you should only plug in your power supply and connect your keyboard, your mouse and your monitor to your PC. Now switch your power supply on and push your start switch.
Now it should run. If it does, turn your PC off. Great. Now reinstall your side panels and install your OS and your drivers. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment and subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye bye.